Um, thank you so much for coming. Um, if you are non-KW, I'm going to try to, uh, or if you are KW, I'm going to try to uh, explain some things um, about, you know, command and some things that to people that are in Keller Williams that uh, already know, but I'm going to kind of go into it a little bit with that just so that people understand. Uh, the command uh, structure is this new software, this new computer, uh, you know, amalgamation that Keller Williams, Keller Williams has come out with. It's, I'm not going to explain it correctly, but it's this amazing new tool that we have that, that sort of is its own platform. Uh, it's not just software. So um, there are a lot of things that we are able to do on that. And one of the main things about this that I'm, that I'm not really gonna talk about, but that people on my team have been instrumental in doing is using the command structure to make these ads go out and use the Facebook ads to really generate people to click through when we put out ads for our Zoom open houses. So that is a big component of this, but so that I don't get too much into the weeds there, because I know that there are other people doing Zooms, um, you know, about that. I know Ron does a lot of stuff on that and could, could you know, tell you a lot more about that than I could. So um, you know, I'm gonna I'm leave. Kinda, but, but you I'm, have- I'm kind of jealous. I, I taught a class on this a couple weeks ago well, and I, I did not have 34 people attending. <laughs> Ron, I will tell you, please chime in if you hear anything that, that you'd like to add, because Ron, you are definitely somebody that uh, knows a heck of a lot more about this than I do. But I'm going to go through what it is that we do sort of on the day of almost, of, you know, a little bit of the preparation, but really what it looks like to actually do one of these Zoom open houses. And there's two ways that we have done it so far. One is being actually in the house with your phone walking around and doing the zoom open house and then the other one was the thing that we did this weekend which the reason that we did it this way was really turning lemons into lemonade was because this house did not have very good cell service and it did not have um it didn't have the um the wi-fi so what vanessa did is she pre-recorded the the tour we put it onto YouTube and then we put it, I screen shared onto my screen and then I talked over it. So it was this silent, you know, thing where she was going through the house and we had, a, and of course, again, Vanessa had a script all typed out uh, that she had. And then what that gave, what, what that afforded us was that we could have a bunch of different Zoom open houses for each agent. Um, we had, we had, one on Thursday night, one on Friday night, one on Saturday morning, one at Saturday at one. And we were able to just have people sit in their, in their houses, in their basement, like I am, and you don't have to go over there. You can just sit, you log on and you do all these things. So I'm- Can I just add something? I saw yes. it and it was amazing. I love that I didn't have to be in the house and I didn't see you, Kevin. I forget, oh, I'm sorry, the name of the girl I saw and it, it solved all my problems. I loved the way you did it. Well, you were on there on Sunday with, uh, with Julie Sandy. That was it, Julie Sandy. Yep. So, yep. Yeah, and Julie Sandy, of course, we all know is amazing. Yes, so um, I just love that style. Just thought I'd throw in my two cents. I do too. And, I, and I'm kind of, that's why I really want to, I'm excited to show you that version. The, the, the first version is, is that you, you know, once you log on, to the actual, once you're there. And what we would do is have the, the phone up on, you know, like the mantle or something with something behind you and it would be showing you and you'd start the meeting that way. Um, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but that's at the start of the meeting. It's facing you, you start and you say, hey everybody, just letting people come in. Okay, now we're gonna start. Um, in that situation, the best thing to have is someone that is in like this command center role like me. So the first ones we did, Vanessa was at a house and I was here in my basement. I was, and Matt Keen was there. So I was then checking the chat board and what we would say is, hey everybody, if you've got a question, don't chime in, type it into the chat board. Because one of the big things is that we wanna record this. 
and if you're it records on speaker view so if somebody else talks especially me like if i'm trying to kind of say something all of a sudden my face comes up and she's showing the living room and that's not being shown anymore so you if you're the secondary person you've got to kind of wait and then we found some tricks of like when she's walking down the stairs to the basement I'll say, hey, Vanessa, I know you're going to walk down the stairs to the basement right now. So why don't you go down there quickly, you know, with the phone sort of doing that. And I'll talk and I know my face is going to be on the screen of the recording. And, you know, you, there, we've got a couple questions here. Somebody was asking, does the fireplace work and blah, blah, blah. So that's kind of a trick of when they're going up the stairs. That's a good time to do that. Um, uh, but let's start at the beginning. You and I'm going to screen share here. I've become very good at screen sharing now that I've been doing these things. Um, and so I'm going to show you, first of all, this is Vanessa's Zoom profile. So we come here and the first thing that you're going to have to do is create a meeting. Okay, so this is also stuff that, again, Ron or somebody else could really explain to you, but I just want to quickly go through this. Um, so you want to schedule a meeting up here and you're going to click on that and i just want to show you a couple of things on here um you're going to create the topic and it's going to say zoom open house at 293 wyoming in maplewood and then there's going to be a description and that's going to give a bunch of stuff um of course when the meeting is going to be and one of the things i wanted to show you is that at the beginning of doing this, we we had that you would sign up on a Google form. And on the Google form, you would say, are you working with an agent? Are you an agent? Um, you know, what is your what is your phone number? What is your email and all that kind of stuff? Um, we stopped doing that. And here's why. Because if you can just create this zoom and put that out there for people to then register straight to the Zoom. So it'll say on here, um, meeting options, where is it? Um, here it is, registration right here. Is registration required? Yes. You wanna click that registration is required. And what that will do is then when someone is given this link, they will have to register, you'll get their name and you'll get their email. Now you're not getting their phone number, but the good thing about that is that you want to also click this, <laughs> this meeting ID generates automatically. And what that will do is if somebody, what we're finding is a lot of people are trying to get on right at the last second. And I think that there's something, and Ron would know about this also, I think Facebook, as it's getting closer to your meeting time, and your ad is saying like our meeting is at 3.30 on Wednesday, it starts to sort of, the algorithm starts to sort of ramp it up. We've gotten, or it's just that people wait until the last second. This way, we don't have to uh, get the Google form and then send them something and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me, COVID. Uh, they are, uh, I'm dying. Um, they are going to then get this registration. It'll zoom out a uh, Zoom to them right away and they'll come back on. Another thing that is a big thing that was, was clicked, unfortunately, for like the first thing I did this weekend, but wasn't for the other ones, do not enable the waiting room. You do not want that on there because then just let people come in. You know, you also do not want to require a meeting password. Just make this public. You know, it's going to be easier that way to do that. Um, so that's the, that's sort of, I don't want to go too far into that, but let's say now it's the, let's say you have done that, you've generated that, you've put out the, the ads, whether you do it through, again, if you're not KW, we have this command uh, stuff. And the great thing about that, let me give you a pitch for Keller Williams, is that um, the algorithm that we use through Facebook instead of it being from me, Kevin Kern, a single person that just, you know, does one uh, Facebook ad a month, maybe, it's Keller Williams 
is actually generating this ad and Keller Williams spends a billion dollars a month on Facebook ads. So it really pumps up our ads into the, uh, you know, into the Facebook world in a lot different way, in a lot better way. So, so the day of you, let's say, um, I'm more excited to, to show you what I did this weekend. So just know that all of these things you could be doing from inside the home on your phone. But I want to show you this other way that we did it that really is an exciting way. So um, on the day of, you're going to go to your Zoom meeting again. And you're going to go to meetings. And in here, there's, you know, there's a, so there's a Zoom meeting uh, open house with Vanessa on Saturday. So let's say it's Saturday and it's 4.30 and she's gonna click on this and she's gonna start the meeting. Um, then I have all of these things set up, ready to go for the meeting. I've got all these other tabs and you can't really see it maybe because of the screen sharing thing up there maybe, but um, I've got all these other tabs ready to go. And so what these, what these things are, we have these digital, um, brochures. So after when COVID hit, we got these brochures going. And again, this is a great time for us to show what our team can do. And we're really starting to think more because everybody's in a crazy place with buyers and, and the, and, uh, you know, Gary Keller and Howard and Kara would tell you that the, if you don't want to lose multiple bids, get the listing and you'll never be in multiple bids or you get multiple bids and you're always the winner. You're always half, you're always gonna get half the pie. So one good thing is we're gonna start trying to send this out to prospective sellers to say, look at what we're doing and come and see what we're doing. So um, we're gonna have all of these brochures ready. So here's, let's say we started and I say, hey everybody, hi, it's Kevin. And I'm gonna show you these things first. So here's 293 Wyoming. This is our brochure. And so that then I don't have to scroll down and also sort of, you know, give away, give away the milk for free without getting them to buy the cow. Uh, I'm going to not scroll, scroll down. So I've got a bunch of tabs open with stuff already preset that I want to show them about the digital brochure. But I am going to say, you know, here's obviously with this digital brochure, we've got a lot of pretty pictures um, and we have this virtual tour that I want to show you that is the Matterport that I think might have been even Ron the other day was saying that you push play on this, but then there's also this little play button down here that you can push and it'll take you through the house. So you can always look at that. Then what I do is I go to this next tab. So I'm not scrolling down. And I say, I also want to show you that this is for this house, especially I want to show you the floor plan from the street. This is what you see. So it looks sort of like a small house. As you can see it goes all the way back here and, and you can see all of these different uh, rooms and the way that it lays out. Uh, then I wanna show them the last thing on here is that we have down at the bottom of our brochure, one of the awesome things about these digital brochures and also let this be sort of, please look at these digital brochures, they're awesome. And you can do this too and I don't know who did this, or who on our team is, I certainly didn't, but they are great. And again, it's another one of those things to come out of COVID that this is better. I find these digital, these virtual open houses to be better for lead gen than the regular open houses. And because you get the people that are sitting in their houses in Brooklyn, that even in a, even in a regular time, maybe aren't willing or ready to go out and drive out yet all the way out to Maplewood, but they're willing to do this. And you're getting them at an even earlier stage than them physically walking into an open house. So that's why this is such great lead gen. So anyway, seller disclosure here, which is great, mechanical photos. And then you can kind of say like, look, here's some things about this place. The, you know, the, the AC units were just newly replaced. The water has been, I mean, the waterproof basement and stuff like that. Now we're, now what I would do, and actually maybe before this, I would say, so now let me introduce the greatest guy ever, Matt Keen. And so now maybe I would stop screen sharing here. And I would say, hey, let's 
let's gonna look in the chat room here and take it away, Matt. You know, here's Matt Keen, guaranteed rate mortgage. Before we start this, I just want to show you uh, just he's going to lay out all the great things about how you can afford this house. And if you need anything, all of his information is going to be on the chat board. Take it away, Matt. Uh, thanks, Kev. So um, this past week on 293 uh, Wyoming, we did it Thursday. I did five of them. So Thursday, Friday, two on Saturday, one on Sunday. They're probably no more than 45 minutes long, and it's probably the most bang for your buck for the less than an hour that you can invest in either marketing or selling the house or from my perspective being on there looking for buyers um i literally log on say hello to everybody greet everybody that comes in the chat room it works great when you have somebody else to kind of feed off of so you're not carrying the conversation the entire time so there's multiple benefits as to why this works for two people to do this or three people to do it but two kevin and i like doing them because if someone's walking through the house, I might be watching the chat board. I can chime in and say, hey, someone mentioned something about this or that. But ultimately, when Kevin turns it over to me for that, I'll probably have no more than three minutes. If that, I'll already have cut and pasted the financing options based on 5%, 10%, 15%, 20% down, the interest rates, the mortgage payment. And I don't get too wordy, but what I try and do is press upon them that, hey, you know, you can get into this house with the minimum down payment of 5%. So if you're seeing other lenders that are saying, hey, we require 20% down, that's not the case. And you don't have to sacrifice the interest rate because here's what today's rate is and here's what the property and here's what the payment would be with taxes and insurance. So I highlight that real quick. Um, I make sure that the notes are clear, concise, cut and paste it right in there with my contact info. And then I turn it right back over to Kevin. And if people have questions either about financing or the house, then we kind of take it from there and feed off of it. But um, I was just talking about it with my wife over the weekend that like the buyer for this one for 293 Wyoming, I have that buyer who got, who's in attorney review now on that house. And I've gotten more leads over the past month from working the virtual open houses than I've ever got. And I, I never used to really sit at open houses, but occasionally, but I would just do it as a courtesy. But you know, like Kevin said, you get way more with this because for whatever reason, they're more, they're doing it, they're either at ease, they don't feel like you're coming right at them when they sign in, you know, right up the island, and there are information's there, and you just kind of give out information and they seek you out, so it definitely works. And the, and the thing that is, another thing getting back, because I know this is about lead gen, so I want to keep talking about that. Another thing that's so great about it is that um, you, you kind of cement, you, you get a, a, a chance to really perform and you know, I love performing. Uh, you, you've got to, you, but you get a chance to really show people. And it's funny because you mentioned Julie Sandy and, and um, uh, Sherry Greenman on our team. And she was so nervous. And then I said afterwards, I said, Sherry, I'm so full of crap. I just make up stuff and make it sound like I know what I'm talking about. You really are so great. Like I've listened to you explain the house and, and you're so awesome. So it's like you really gave these people a chance to really just see how well you can show them through this house. And, and you know, just people like that. People get an emotional attachment to you that way. Then if they do want to see it, and look, this 293 Wyoming, was was nuts you know it's this it's this mid-century modern in maplewood there's not a lot of them it was a really cool place we had great pictures of it a ton of people wanted to see it so this was really shooting fish in a barrel but i'm saying we did have other we've had a lot of success also with like little place the, the um seven porter which is on the border of maplewood and union um for 425 we had some, you know, some direct people that came in from the Zoom open house that I showed that I met through the Zoom open house and walked through with them, showed them the house, and now they're with me, you know. So, and with, you know, for Matt, for, for, for this 293 Wyoming, how many people, how many of the 11 offers were you involved in? At least a couple. Well, you know what, like John and I both said, because I texted him over the weekend to say, hey, how many are you doing on this? Because it seems to be nuts. I had two of them. John had three of them. Oh, no, that, I'm sorry. That was on uh, 
I guess the one in West Orange that had like 31 offers. Oh, yeah. And that Cobain. was from another company, but it was insane how many, uh, I kept writing 57 Cobain on every single pre-approval. Yeah. And so. so that's the thing is that, is that in one way, you know, buyers are kind of falling out of trees right now, but this way you can capture them and you can capture them by, again, at the beginning, you've got their email and you've got their name. And so let me go back again one little bit. Um, at the, before the open house starts, you are going to, and let me screen share again, and let me show you this one thing. Um, before the open house begins, you are gonna go onto your Zoom, you know, onto your thing, and you're gonna to go to meetings again. And for you, this is going to be, you know, clicking on this, but I'm gonna show you for this previous meeting, um, the one that I did here. Now, this is what you're gonna see even when you're looking at just like a meeting coming up. And you're gonna see this, manage attendees registrants, okay? And then I can't see it over here. Oh, how do I move this? Hold on. There we go. Um, you're in a view, okay? Now look at this. This is before this, this Zoom open house even begins, you know? And don't steal any of my people. <laughs> you've, got, you've got all of these names and emails, okay? And, and look, the other thing is, is that like here, Matt Keen's in here. You know, obviously I know he's, he's in there. And the problem with this, <clears throat> excuse me, there might be some, uh, there might be some, uh, some agents on here. I don't know, if, you know, if I email an agent, then whatever, who cares, you know, they'll, they'll get over it. Um, and if like Liz Landy was on one of them the other day and we know that that's Liz Landy. So, um, oh, how do I get back in? Oh, there we go. So, you know, that's, that's something that is, <laughs> even though, you know, it's, it, it's, you know, there are some things about the Google form that are better, it's fine this way. So let me continue on with the day of. So now I'm going to, so, so Matt has spoken and, and now I'm going to go to this YouTube link. And a lot of, I think that what we had done also was I put in the link, I put in the chat board, the link to already, I put in the link to our uh, digital brochure. I also put in the link to this YouTube. It, as you're watching it, you'll see it's a little bit choppy. Um, on my computer, it looks really smooth. I know from watching it, it gets, it can be a little bit choppy, but it's fine. You know, and this, this is good because this video is pretty smooth. Um, I think, again, getting into the weeds, um, some people are using what's called a gimbal that kind of keeps your phone steady. I have, there we go, Jeffrey Slaff, it's got one there. I have found um, that, you know, just keeping steady and slow is, is about the same, I think, than using a gimbal. Um, I tried to, I used it once on a, um, when I did a FaceTime tour with, with a client and I found it to be just kind of hard to use personally, but if you, if you like using it, then it's great. You're right, um, David, it's a pain in the ass, it's not worth it at the end of the day. Yeah, it's kind of, I, I'll tell you, Vanessa went through this just holding her phone. I kind of feel like as long as you don't make big movements yeah. and you, and you just realize that, you know, when you're showing a, a, a place, you've got to just make slow movements. I feel like it, it's the best way to do it, but that's my opinion. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start playing and then I go full screen here. And so then uh, now Vanessa gave us this, this great script, you know, and you can write it ahead of time. That's another thing if you're nervous about this. Look to the left and the right, there are the neighbors. Um, you can see that this house is a half acre lot and it's set way back from the street. You kind of outrun your neighbors on both, on both sides. Um, you can see that the, that the driveway here was resealed. Um, if you come visit, if you, we ask you to, to park on the street, you know, you can walk on the resealed driveway, but it's parked. You can see there it's a double uh, garage there. Um, oh, wow, this awesome 50s brick, you know, and the slate there. 
Now we're going to turn and you can see, so you see what I'm doing. Um, this is great. I found this to be so great because we had this known entity of this video already there. It's not going to, um, you know, it, it's got a, it's got a less, it's got less of a chance of failing than it does if you're in the house and all of a sudden, you know, at least with this, it's like, I'm on like a hard line, you know, um, in my, in my house, um, being able to do this and I'm not doing it with the phone. That's not to say we're not going to do it with the phones anymore, but I don't know. I, I really like this way of doing it. Um, and if somebody asks a question, you can just hit pause and, and answer. And if somebody asks a question, you can hit pause. We, I do like going through the whole thing. Um, I'm going to let this run just so you can see some of this house. If you guys didn't get a chance to see this, it was really like an awesome house. Um, but anyway, so, you know, and then at this point, it's like, hey, and then in Vanessa's notes, you know, we're going to show you out here again so you can see how far we are from Wyoming. It is a double yellow line. It's 35 miles an hour. But again, you're so far set back. Um, now we're going to come over here and we're going to look at this unbelievable screened in porch. We're going to show you the fireplace here and the cool bench that's along there that's that goes all the way around here to the stairs Kevin, there, you know. Kevin, is your phone is your phone on um, landscape when you're doing this? Phones on landscape doing this, which again, we have found that to be a good thing. You know, is to is to have this be landscape. Um, and then, you know, another good thing about that, Peter, is maybe you're not so great at doing this kind of thing. And maybe somebody, you know, is that's on your team or that's a partner of yours or that, you know, is the showing partner or whatever that that that's that's a millennial that, you know, is better at, at filming these kind of things, <laughs> you know, or you could use your if you have a professional um, walkthrough, you know what I mean? Like you could do it this way because really what this is beyond, um, you know, if you think of it in terms of lead gen, you know, what this becomes again is an opportunity for you to show what you can do, not just the house, because this video is the same as it would be as we're walking through the house. And um, there's a couple of edits here that Vanessa made. Again, um, I think my sophomore in high school would have to help me figure out how to do that on, you know, whatever it is on Apple movies or whatever. Um, but it, at one point we go into the master bedroom and look in the master bath. <laughs> and then we quickly go into going down the basement steps. So it doesn't have to be here. Okay, now I'm gonna walk back down the long hallway, you know, and show you, okay, now here we're going down those steps. You know what I mean? So you, you get rid of those moments where, although those are the moments, like I said, where I would then chime in while she's sort of, you know, walking quickly. Um, one, one thing I'd add in, Kevin, is that when anybody films it, we should make sure that you put your do not disturb on so things don't start popping into your screen. That's a good point. Um, so I'm going to stop this screen sharing here, although I know that you would like to see this house more and more. Um, but I kind of want to just sort of mastermind this. You know, I, I feel like I'm forgetting a lot of stuff. So um, Let's see. Oh, Kevin, who did the virtual brochure? I have no idea, and I will let you know. Um, show us again how you go uh, go to the lead sheet. So this is another thing I want. Oh, so let me keep going through to the end. So we've done the open house, okay? We've done that part of it. Now we're we're finished with all that. We come back to here, and and we ask again, like, oh, let's see. Oh, somebody was asking on here. Um, was is there flooding in the basement because we see on the seller disclosure um, that they you know that they did some work in the basement um, as far as we know there's not blah 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 okay so that's that's a good thing about that another question could be to Matt Keen you know I, I think there was a question about hey with five percent does that include the you know um, the 
insurance too. And Matt says, yeah, yes, it does. You know, insurance and taxes and everything. So um, now let me screen share again so I can answer that question. Um, hope we're coming back to still going here. So I've got to get out of exit full screen. How do I do that? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go back to Zoom. And here's now, let's say you're finished with the open house entirely. And you are now, uh, you've asked if there were any questions. You uh, answered all the questions that you needed to answer. Uh, and now it's finished. This is something that I just discovered that is so great. So I wrote this down so that I would. Okay. So you go to this, <coughs> excuse me, you go to account management right here. Okay. Account management. And I'm going to, I can send you guys this. Um, this was something actually that I found just searching on Google and it's, and it's on zoom. They, they explain this. You go to account management and then you go to reports. Then from re reports, you go to meeting. And then from here, you can go, you've got to, you know, figure out from Thursday to now. <coughs> Excuse me, goodness. So then you're going to go to this and you're going to click on this or you can click here and generate a report. And what that does is it downloads a, an Excel file with all of the names, all of the email addresses, and that's basically it, you know, none of the phone numbers. But now you can just dump that into, again, non-KW people, into command, which is our also the CRM and everything. Um, but you just dump that into that or Brivity or, or Boomtown or whatever you use. Um, and now those people, you've just dumped them in there. You can tag them as, uh, you know, 293 Wyoming leads. And that's just like an easy way to do it. Or, and I'll show you again. If you go to, <coughs> excuse me, goodness. If you go to meetings over here. If you go to here on meetings, which I did, but give me a second here. Sorry, my computer's running slow. Hopefully I'm still on. Oops, am I still on there? Yeah. Okay. Not your, not your screen, but. All right, well. Your screen is up, it's just on the wrong browser. All right. Here we go. So if you go to meetings, and then again, let's just go to this one that Vanessa's having coming up. If you scroll down and you go to manage attendance, atten attendees, and you go to registrants, right now this one is zero. I don't think we've put out a, uh, I, I don't think we've put anything out yet, uh, any ads yet. So, you go over here to view and you go into that and then under here would be all of the emails and you know the name email and the registration time is where that would be if you're doing a facebook ad in command you can have the lead generation form capture their phone and email first right and, and then direct them to the zoom link um at the landing page so you could really kind of if they're coming in off of Facebook you can actually get their phone numbers too and and Ron the way and there's and that's that's a question really for you um, that is that when you put out the ad let's say Jim Smith um, clicks on the ad so he clicks on the ad immediately we get Jim Smith his email and his phone number you know in our command Correct. Then he registers for, you know, this Zoom open house at 293, <coughs> excuse me, my goodness, 293, um, you know, on Friday night. 
registers for it, goes to my Zoom, and I see Jim Smith and just his email. So we have been having success going then into command, finding Jim Smith and finding his phone number as well. Um, another trick that we've been doing is emailing everybody before the event and saying, hey, the easiest way to contact me is via text. You know, mm -hmm. I'm going to be on my phone and doing different things. So if you could just text me questions, um, it's a lot easier. So, you know, <laughs> then they'll text you the questions and you have your phone number. Um, but I have to tell you, um, you know, having done these, it's been pretty successful emailing people and saying, do you want to see the house? Like, let's, let's meet what's your phone number you know let's here's my phone number call me or let, let's talk about this yeah I think, um, I think something that's great about this whole format too is you know teams like Vanessa's and and you know Simon's you know they do these client appreciation parties and things like that oh but thank you froze Ron Unless that's me. Uh, and oh, the event, and then the touches that you make after the event. So you have the ability, once you start gathering these, these, this contact information, reach out to them, make those touches before the actual open house. And you're kind of get, developing those relationships before you go live. Exactly, exactly. Um, I'm gonna read through some of these. Robin, Robin Carp, hi Robin, thanks for coming. Um, if, uh, if you have a professional video, would you use that instead of creating a video? Like I said, you know, I think, yeah, you could, you know, I mean, like in a way, you know, like I said, was it, was it a little bit jumpy for you guys? The, the YouTube? Like a, a, I thought it was fine and I'm surprised there was no gimbal. Yeah. It and good. it's, it's just, uh, you know, the, the, from me being on my computer, through zoom in the thing it's it's just it's like if it's 24 frames a second it's kind of like 20 frames a second or something it's just a little bit you know what i mean a, a little yeah. bit jerky but but not so bad i was going to say watching that all weekend or being on five of the sessions i actually uh i thought that that was i thought at first it was going to be tough like you said and it came through unbelievably smooth every okay. single time and it looked great and i just think i like Wow, how easy is that now for both the listing agent and everybody in the audience? You don't physically have to be in the house. If you, did, if, you yeah. if you couldn't be there, you go over during the week, take a video of it, save it to YouTube, and now you can walk and hold that meeting at will whenever you want to have it. So it's kind and, of perfect. And so, Robin, to your point, like, if it's really professional and it's – but it's a real walkthrough, you know what I mean? And it's, it's, it's got to be pretty slow – you know what I mean? And it's got to really be like someone really walking through. So if it's that kind of a professional video, I say yes. You know, I wouldn't use like the Matterport walkthrough. It's too fast, you know. Um, but yeah, I think that that'd be a, a really easy thing to do. Um, you can add more details to the registration, like phone number. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, do you only use Facebook ads or other ways of getting the word out? I mean, it's a great touch for current clients that you have even you know like i said the listings i mean like people that that you know that are thinking about listing with you or just friends you know that 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 you might just to say hey check this out like this is kind of a cool new thing we're doing um so yeah I, I, you know vanessa's zillow, dad right? is always on there <laughs> i imagine you put it on zillow as well we do. We put it on. We we put it on Zillow. I think maybe we. Um, I don't know if we do this, but I saw somebody do this the other day because I clicked on. They had like an O for the open house that I saw. Um, maybe it was on MLS or whatever, and I clicked on it, and then there was like a link to a Zoom, to a Zoom event. Which which brings me to another point. Um, it's great for other realtors to send this out as well. And please, like, like, hear me saying this, but also take this in. It's like our fiduciary experience, you know, the first thing we want to do is sell this house. You know, it's like, so yes, lead gen, yes. We want to get all the leads. We want to do all this stuff. But we also want to sell this house. 
Ginge Calhoun called me the other day and said, I really want to send, I said, please send them. You know, if we contact them, the first thing they're going to say is that we're working with Ginge and we'll say, great. You know, like, awesome. Thanks for coming to the open house. If you have any questions, call Ginge. She'll, she'll, she'll contact us. You know, it's the same as any other open house, you know, of like, we want to get these people in here. Please send your clients and we'll send ours to, to your open houses, you know, and, and all it takes is for them to say, Hey, I'm working with, with Kevin, but, but it's also a great touch point for them to be able to, to see these homes while they're sitting in Brooklyn. Um, you know, that they can really see a great tour. Um, let me see, what do you put in the meeting options if you enable to join before the host? Um, um, do we put to, um, yeah, I think we enable it. I think that the, to me, the thing with the Zoom settings is make it as easy as possible for everybody just to get in there. And if somebody's in there before you, I always get in there like really early, um, you know, and Matt's always in there. Um, when do you recommend running the ads for the open house? That might be a question for Ron, I think, um, we, if we're doing one on sort of like a Saturday, I don't know, Ron, Tuesday. And, and maybe, I don't know if Ron's frozen there. I think um, he's frozen. But, but if, you know, if we, uh, as I said, I do feel like there is something there that it, that it gets quicker, more and more people kind of come in sort of the day of. Um, you know, you'll start one of these and it'll be like, oh, I've only got five people coming. And then by the end, you, you're like, wait, I had 14 registrants because a bunch of people sort of came in there at the end. Um, hey, Kev. Find, yeah. I was just going to add to that. Uh, sometimes you're on these calls. Don't get discouraged if you have like three people on a call because when we first started doing this, it, it would be like hit or miss where there might be three or four people and then this past weekend we had one where I think it was up over 20 people on the call so that was the one thing that I noticed that you never know what's going to take off or what's going to appeal to people for the link and I think they're just growing week by week just based on how many people attended this week but in the beginning it could be sometimes not everybody gravitates toward it but don't get discouraged it takes yeah, off I, I would agree with that wholeheartedly yeah. um, I lost my connection before I don't know if anybody heard my answer um, we didn't. So yeah, go ahead and tell us yeah. what, when is a good time to, to so, put yeah, this out? I mean, I would definitely, you know, Tuesday through Friday for a Saturday open house, you know, have the ad run. Um, I don't think you need to have it actually have it run on the Saturday. Um, but yeah, that, that should give you plenty. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I would say with just a handful of days, you know, $15 spend is probably also plenty. Here's another question that's a great, great question, Marion Slam. Um, how are you finding the different times uh, for hosting them versus traditional Sunday afternoon? The stress of being live that day is taken away. Uh, you can do the talking versus filming and talking at the same time. <clears throat> I, I like being a little bit off the cuff. So I, I, did, I do enjoy the, the walking around, but now that I've like experienced this other way, I love that I can show them the digital brochure. And look, even if you show them, you know, the MLS and, and you're showing them, you know, here's some, some stats. Or if you just wrote something up ahead of time that is like a pretty sheet of just like, here's, here's the picture, here's like the highlights I wanted to show you about this house. It's got a brand new roof and blah, 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 and newly painted and all that kind of stuff. So you can do this a million different ways. Um, but it definitely gives you that place of like really presenting something and it makes it that it's like, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Now here's this professional video that, like I said, we, ours was on this YouTube link, you know, it wasn't at that point a professional video. Um, and it's, and as far as the different times, um, Vanessa did one that Thursday night and it got, it got, I think that one got a lot. I then did Friday at six. And that one got a pretty good amount. And then I did a Saturday at 930. And that one didn't get that many. But I'm telling you what, that's the one where I got like four people that I took out that day. So it was like of the four people that come like e came every single one of them is now my client. I got like five clients out of this. 
and varying degrees of, well, we just really liked this house, you know, maybe in the next year or so, you know what I mean? And I was like, great, you know, so that's, and then one family that's like, we need to get our kid in before, you know, kindergarten. Um, so I would say maybe try different things, but for the most part, um, again, it's just people, you know, you've got to think about like that 9.30 in the morning wasn't so bad for some people. They were drinking their coffee and watching that and they're up with kids and whatever. Um, are you filming with an uh, iPhone? I think is what she did that one. Um, and on the registration form for the Zoom, did you ask if they're working with an agent? We can't really do that on the Zoom, which is a drawback. It, it doesn't really, um, unless Ron, you know different with the actual Zoom registration and what you were saying, there, there, there might be a way to do this that we're not knowing that maybe you can do like a Google form where it really generates the, the link out in a quick way, um, you know, that, that makes this, you know, quicker. I don't know. Yeah, on, on the Google form, there is a confirmation page and you could put the link there um, for those last minute people. Um, yeah. You know, I, I had toyed around with the concept if I was gonna do this of, of not putting the link there because um, I would instead say, you know, your, your Zoom registration will be sent to the email provided. And then right. this way, if they gave you a bad email address, they would be forced to go back in and correct it and give you a real email address. And, um, and what so. we're, what, what, and I, and I totally agree. And that's why we were doing the email at first. And really when it comes to like working with another agent, it's, it, we're, we're ready for them to tell us that they're working with another agent the same way we would if it was an open house, Absolutely. you know, and, and that's just one of those things. Like we're, you know, we don't want to work with anybody that's already working with somebody and, and I will say, one of my leads came that I met and I was doing stuff and I like, man, I was all over the place on that Sunday and I made this extra time to come meet them at the place. And I talked to them beforehand and all this stuff. And then they're walking up the thing and the husband says, now my wife, I think she was a little confused. We are actually working with an agent. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, oh my God. Look, and, I, and I was like, look, I would have shown you this anyway. You know what I mean? Like on your agent's behalf, because this is our listing, but like, you know, in the future, I'd really love it if you could just, you know, you need, this is, you're working with an agent, you know, you need to have your agent show you this. So, um, but whatever, it, it was fine, you know, but but I, and I don't know, maybe those people made an offer on the place and I'm, again, we're trying to sell the house and it's the same with, if you're at an open house and somebody comes in and says they're working with an agent, you still wanna show them the house and you know, put, the, put your best foot forward. Um, uh, there's a way to customize registration on Zoom, Susie says, we'll hear more about that. Um, are you doing, doing more than one open house a week for the same prop, uh, property? This weekend we did that and another thing, if you're on teams or if you're, you know, if you want to do this with another agent, you know, just to kind of partner and do this kind of stuff. Um, Vanessa had the idea, and this is full disclosure. Vanessa had this idea and she was like, quick guys, this is great because now we can do five of these this weekend for this house that we know is going to get a lot of eyeballs. And so, and, you know, Denise said yes, and Sherry said yes, and all these people, and you know, and so then Denise called me on Friday night and said, Kevin, I am, I'm waving the white flag. Like I have like 80 showings on Saturday. And like the last thing I can even imagine doing is this Zoom open house, would you mind doing it? And I was like, of course. And then Sherry called me and said, Kevin, I don't understand all the, the, the stuff about how this works. Like, would you please be there for me? And I was like, yeah. And, if, and then, like I said, Sherry was like the best of all of it. Julie, of course, is unbelievable. She did it herself. But we maybe bit off a little bit more than we could chew. Um, but you, it, it set us up to, I'm fine doing it. And if you have 
again, like if you want to hire somebody per hour, you know what I mean? That's really good at this. A, a millennial that's, that can be sort of your, your partner to be able to do this. And the other thing Matt and I were talking about, you know, <clears throat> Matt, Matt's our guy. He's going to only, if he's scheduled to do one of these, he's not available. Um, but I was thinking, Matt, um, you know, you could get an architect. You could get um, a, a contractor that this is a great touch point for you to bring in some of your, um, con you know, some of your contractor, you know, some of your guys, some of your professionals that you use to, to be able to be, to be your partner on this. It's a, it's an awesome opportunity for you to be like, Hey, I, this is the plumber that everybody uses. And I just wanted to have him on and have him say a little something about, you know, the work that he does and, or the title company, or, you know, those people want to come on and do stuff. So. Um, yeah, can't bring the just, contract is great. If you have, you know, if the house that you're listing needs a little love. Yeah, you know? Exactly. And he can say, hey, look, I went through, this is the, or an architect, you know, this is, here's the plans. Let me screen share now. This, these are the plans of, of what you can do. Oh, what were you going to say, Matt? Hey, Jeff, just to give a plug to uh, John and Brian, I'm sure that they, we ha I haven't actually talked to these, those guys about doing the open houses, but I'm sure that they would. They seem to just tick up in terms of the number of, that I'm doing now. It seems like I'm doing a lot more, but uh I'm sure that they would do the same thing that I'm doing. So if you're, if you guys are working with either John or Brian, just reach out to them. And even if they can't be on the call, if they could prepare the numbers for you so that this way you at least have financing information just to post on it. I just think that even regardless of whether or not we start going outside and going back to normal, I think these zoom open houses, um, it's just a real convenient way of reaching a lot of people in the most efficient amount of time. I think one of the questions was how long does it take? To do it i think yeah we're, we're on and off in less than 45 minutes yeah for sure yeah and 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 like at the beginning of it you know like you want to start on time but then also it's like you know there's going to be stragglers so another great thing about having matt on um or a contractor or somebody like that is is that you can kind of use a little bit of that time beforehand to kind of you know, kill a little bit of time. And Matt and I kind of, before he really goes into his thing that I want people to really be able to pay attention to, um, we can sort of just chit chat about like, um, you know, hey, and Matt, you know, he's got kids in Chatham. I've got kids in Maplewood. If anybody's got any questions about the schools while we're sitting here waiting, you know, we're, let's wait until, you know, five more minutes and then we'll start. But Let's do that. Okay, now it's five five after. Let's go. Um, but then we'll have more questions at the end. You know, it's, so it gives you a chance to do that kind of stuff. Too. It's nice when you welcome them into the room. They tend to take off their black screen and show their face. Then they kind of like if you greet them by name. I, we did that a couple times this weekend. It seems like it lightens everybody up and it kind of gets people into like a conversational mood to go through the house, as opposed to not acknowledging them by name and just seeing somebody pop into the room. Yeah. Well, so it, it's good. Jackie, did you want to share something? Screen share something? Or was that, who is Keller Williams? That's me too. <laughs> oh God, I thought that was you. Did okay. you want? I can show the registration custom question part if you'd like. That, that'd be great. Yeah, please. All Thank right. you. All right, so let me just bring that up real quick. Where am I at? She was saying, you know, in the registration section of the meeting, you can add custom questions as a short answer or single answer requirement. And you can also add poll questions and run them during your Zoom. Okay, can you guys see anything? No. And to answer an earlier question about um, uh, who's doing the, um, the video uh, or the, you know, the, the digital brochures, um, it's quite possible, Kevin, that somebody actually on your team is doing them because those um, are um, Squarespace websites. Um, yep. I took a look took a look at the code on the back end and, and uh you know it was squarespace so and ron definitely I, do I, I, code. elizabeth on our team can give you the the answer to that it i know it is like something well again something they threw up there like that i if i did it it would look like throw up um but it's <laughs> it's uh somebody did a great job yeah. doing that there's, there's, but it is yeah, it is like a square square space yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I have it ready. Um, 
Can everyone see my screen? Yep. Yep. All right, wonderful. So I scheduled a, a test meeting, um, and that's what this is. And I clicked required for registration. Uh, all the good stuff. Make sure my host participation is on for video. That's another important thing, whether or not you want people to be seen or not be seen, but they can always take care of that on their own too. Um, so when you're down here, you click save. Now you see the registration link that, that shows that you definitely registered it properly. So then you would scroll down and down here is all the settings for the fun stuff. So for registration, I'm going to click edit. You can automatically approve or manually approve if you know there's someone that you don't want to participate in your, your meeting, you can do it that way. Um, these are the pre-fills questions that you can select, like phone number, address, all that kind of stuff. And then over here is custom questions. And you can create a new question. So like if I want to write, are you working with an agent? Question mark. I could create a short answer and they could say yes, no, whatever, write a name. That's up to them. Or you can do just a single answer like yes, no, still looking. You can make those options and create. And that will be added to your registration. Okay, you can you can click it required or not required, delete, etc. I'm going to delete it for the purposes of this account. Now you would save all and it would show up in there as part of your registration report. It'll be added to it. If you prefer to have your own branding, you can add your own images there. And then poll is during the event itself. You can add a poll. So like if Kevin was talking about, so we have this three story home, uh, it's carpeted, you know, and then be like, just a quick poll. Does, how many of you prefer a carpeted house or do you prefer it to be wooden floors or tile, et cetera? You can make that poll here and just whoever is running the Zoom, just make sure they activate that poll at that time. So if I do a quick poll, enter a title, we'll put flooring, right? You can make it anonymous if you want to, it doesn't matter. Type your question here. What type do you prefer? You can do multiple choice, single choice, however. I like multiple choice or single choice. Uh, we'll do tile, we'll do carpet, we'll do uh, hardwood. If I could type, there we go. <laughs> um, add a question. And then you can add multiple questions if you want to. Uh, we'll save this for now. No. Oh. Wait, delete that. You would save that. And then you have that here ready called poll number one flooring and you can edit it and you can add it, pull it up whenever you want during your Zoom too. And how do you pull that up, Jackie, during the, like let's say you're, you're running it, you, you, do you have to go to that sort of screen or where, how do you go, where do you go to click on the actual thing? Let me see if I can add it for this one right now. A quick poll. Edit this meeting. Add a poll. Okay. So I'm going to say, uh, hello. Are you having fun? This will be a single choice answer. Yes. No. <laughs> eh. Add, it. Add the question. Save it. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. And then in the, my manager role of, the, my, of my Zoom account, because we're hosting, I'm going to launch the poll. You'll click polls at the bottom, click launch. Oh, it's Everyone yeah. will see that. Oh, yeah. And then you, you can run it for however many seconds. And then you submit your answers. Everyone just take a moment to submit an answer real quick if you can. All right. One, two, Who said three. that? <laughs> <laughs> So we can now share the results, um, which 92% uh, of you said, yes, you're having fun. Awesome. One person said, eh, <laughs> not the, and, and you can share with everybody in the group. And so Jackie, you need, a, you need a professional account for that, I guess. Or the, the, uh, we have the pro account, which is like 15 bucks a month, which pretty much covers everything we need, unless we want more than a hundred, um, like webinar, if you want webinar, you pay more. If you want more than, I think, 500 participants, you'll pay more. But you can just add to that plan and it'll take on from there. And Jackie, you made me a co-host of this, uh, uh, you know, of this Zoom meeting. And so mm -hmm. I, I can also see like 
you know, stop sharing results, you know, close and all that kind of stuff. Yes. So, if you don't, if I don't like how you're co-hosting, I can always do that too. <laughs> <laughs> or but, or but God forbid some, yeah. <laughs> someone falls down you'd be like, oh no, click stop share. Exactly. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Um, oh, well, I guess that's pretty much it. Is there someone, Marianne's brain is exploding. Um, if I will suggest, I will offer this. If, if anybody wants to talk about this further, um, you know, I would love to talk to you. You can call me anytime. You know what? I'll put my phone number on here. Um, and ha really happy to help. Um, and oops. Oh, wait a minute. Let me do that to everyone. Um, you know, happy to help. And I can also send you towards uh, somebody on my team that really knows what they're talking about too. So, you know, happy to help either way. Well, thank you so much, Kevin. It, does anybody else have any questions or we're going to enjoy this beautiful day now? Yeah, no, that was awesome. And I think, yeah, uh, I can understand your original issues about using the Google form. And, uh, and how this may be the better way to do it, now, especially now that you can actually put you know, questions in the Zoom uh, yeah. responses link so you can get some of those answers that you would have on the Google form. And again, like I come back to, it's just a chance for you to be yourself, you know? And, and people like, you know, Sherry realized that. And, and I would say, you know, if there is somebody that you can, even higher, you know, for 15 bucks or whatever it would be, be for the hour. Like if you feel to, to be the administrator and run it, um, you know, that's something that you could do just to assuage any fears, but then you'll be on there. And especially if you're just running this, uh, you know, this thing, all Sherry had to do was I'd say, all right, Sherry, here we go, push play and now take it away. And she does what she does best, you know, which is not all this tech stuff which is selling this house, you know, so, yeah. Thanks, All right. Kevin. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Thank everybody. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks, Ron. All right. Bye, -bye. Bye guys. See you later. Bye.